This is 9 News at 10. Have you paid for services that taxpayers never receive? I think that's what the investigation is about. Tonight, a nine wants to know investigation allegations that Adams County repeatedly paid for road projects that never happened. Good evening, everyone. I'm Mark Cobra. I'm Adela Rakawa. The Adams County Administrator admits it's possible that hundreds of thousands of dollars in the county have gone to waste. Nine wants to know is exposing how the county allegedly paid nearly two million dollars to a road construction company for work. Much of it never even started. Nine wants to know investigator Jace Larson joins us from the Adams County Public Works building in Commerce City. Jace, arrest affidavit show that payments for road projects never completed went on for several years. Adele, from 2004 to 2008, quality paving did not just paving projects, but also resurfacing jobs for Adams County. Then a tip came in saying that some quality paving employees were getting a little too close with some of the employees here at the Public Works Department. So the sheriff was called in to investigate. And detectives now allege that quality paving was paid for many projects that were never done. It's very beautiful out here. Just east of where the planes land at DIA. It's just wide open country. Is a rural community on a stretch of pavement that would ground a 747. The road is very rough. The road to Jody Bowen's property is not supposed to be like this. You do have quite a bit of potholes. 88th Avenue would be a smooth ride. If the $35,000 that Adams County paid to resurface it in 2007 had actually been used to resurface it. An Adams County employee signed off that this road project had been completed. Do you think it actually had been done? I don't believe so. According to records obtained by 9 Wants to Know, Adams County Road Inspector Stacy Parkin signed off on the job. For a year and a half, few others realized the work hadn't been done. Then the county looked into a tip alleging county workers were in collusion with quality paving. In court records exposed in this report for the first time, evidence suggests the alleged collusion included not just Parkin, but her former boss, Public Works Construction Manager Sam Gomez. He has since retired. The allegations certainly involve road work and they involve uh, the fact that uh, the county paid for something we didn't receive. Adams County Administrator Jim Robinson called for an investigation. How serious are these allegations? I think it's a very big concern, yes. How much money are we talking here? That'd be a good question. I'll be interested to find out. But we already know $1.8 million for a series of alleged bogus road projects as the county continually awarded bids to quality paving from 2004 to 2008. In addition to the $35,000 for supposedly repairing 88th Avenue, court documents allege quality paving also got paid for work it never completed on 77th Avenue and on this stretch of 56th Avenue. Investigators say the company overcharged taxpayers more than $60,000 for a series of other projects. It's very concerning. Uh, certainly, uh, uh, it's not a stigma that any county would want to have. The district attorney recently charged Parkin, her former boss, Sam Gomez, and three quality paving employees. And we've learned, despite being charged with embezzlement, Parkin is still getting her salary. Is Stacy working now? Uh, no, she hasn't been working since we put her on administrative leave. Collects a paycheck, doesn't come to work? That's right. Since going on leave March 9th, Parkin has collected $22,000 in pay. Why not simply say, we're going to put you on leave that's unpaid? Uh, our procedures wouldn't allow for that. Uh, the procedures are based on the fact that uh, normal employees have a, a, a right to their job. They have a property right, and therefore it has to be by due process. It is not fair to the taxpayers. Taxpayers who want to get what they paid for. I don't get a paycheck if I don't get my job done. So how could this happen? Well, there are allegations that in exchange for charging too much, quality paving employees went to the private homes of some of the people who used to work here at the Public Works Department and did construction projects at their homes. 
There are also allegations that Quality Paving bought gifts for some of the people here at Public Works. Those gifts, uh, according to the allegations, are Broncos tickets and memorabilia. Now, the county hopes that it has fixed this problem by implementing uh, a new policy that forbids employees from accepting gifts from companies with which it has contracts. Adele? So, Jace, does the county hope to get any of its money back? Well, it will not get any of the money back uh, when you look at what it's paying Stacy Parkin. In fact, she's still collecting a paycheck, some $4,000 she is receiving every month. But the, company, uh, the county does hope that it is able to go after some of the money that it believes it erroneously paid quality paving. It might do that through a civil lawsuit. All right, Jace Larson reporting. Thanks a lot, Jace. Eighty-eighth Avenue would be a smooth ride if the thirty-five thousand dollars that Adams County paid to resurface it in two thousand and seven had actually been used to resurface it. An Adams County employee signed off that this road project had been completed. Do you think it actually had been done? I don't believe so. According to records obtained by Nine Wants to Know, Adams County Road Inspector Stacy Parkin signed off on the job. For a year and a half, few others realized the work hadn't been done. 